Good evening. Welcome. Today's Wednesday, March 24th, and I am coming to you live from Barbara's Stamp Pad. And I'm just give it a little moment there. Hi, Bev. Um, I have a little, uh, I have a different uh, view today um, because I'm working on some other things um, on this side of the room and um, yeah, I'm moving things around too. So as if I didn't have enough to do already, um, I'm moving things around. <laughs> So, but thank you for joining, Bev. Um, let me go ahead and do a really quick introduction for those of you that might be joining me for the first time. And if you're uh, joining me from watching before, welcome back. Uh, my name is Barbara Ragsdale, and I am a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I live in the San Antonio, Texas area. So if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up!, we're a paper crafting company. And I am here live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time in order to show you how to use your Stampin' Up! products to make 12 by 12 page layouts. So if you missed me last week, uh, we were working with the Dandy Garden Suite. Hey, Veronica. And um, if you see a live in one of these corners, I'm, I'm a little, sometimes I could be, um, Oh, what's the word? Challenged when it comes to directions. <laughs> so if you see a live in one of these corners to the left or right of my head, that means you're joining me live on Facebook. So um, if you're watching the replay either on Facebook or you're watching me from YouTube, thank you for watching me and subscribing to my channel on YouTube. Um, if I say hello, and I'm calling out somebody's name, it's uh, most likely because they're joining me live, so I'm not talking to myself, although that sometimes could happen. I do talk to myself sometimes, but, um, but welcome. And um, we're gonna work on the second page of the layout number six. So I've got, um, I've got my wheel ready here to go. Um, everything else I wanna show you um, it will be when the camera gets pointed down, but, uh, but do thank you for joining me and right before, um, maybe probably about 30 minutes ago, maybe, I don't know. It's, it was, it was after 630 for sure. Um, I was rushing to, to hurry up and, and clear this desk and get started with what I wanted to. Hi Stella. No, you're not late. I'm still just talking um, and I got an email from uh, San Antonio Animal Care Services and for those of you that that don't know um, what I do for fun <laughs> because Stampin' Up's just not it I mean it's fun but my heart has always been into um, babies little neonatal kittens and so I'm a foster with San Antonio Animal Care Services. And um, the last little batch that I had, I gave back to them so they could get spayed and neutered and adopted out in the early part of January. And of course, here we are already almost the end of March. And I've just been, you know, I've been itching. I've been missing my babies. And so um, I usually take in the ones that are literally just a few days old, their eyes are still closed, um, totally dependent on someone caring for them. Um, and these are the babies that get brought because maybe something happened to the mama or people, you know, just find kittens and they, they think they're helping, but really um, they're not as educated as we would like most people to be to to know when to be looking for the mama and to make sure that the mama's not around and so hi susan and so uh p 
people just bring the babies down there and the fosters are the ones that get the email saying hey we just got a batch in well I got an email um, half hour or so ago that they had five babies oh, and my heart just melted so I was like uh, of course as busy as I am I'm like of course I'm gonna take some I can't take all five because we have our own we have our own animals hi Cindy but um, I can definitely take a couple and I told them after my uh, weekend retreat in April then I'd be available to take a couple or more so my max is four only because we have four of our own pets and they do um, the city does enforce the eight pet rule uh, or statute whatever you want to call it here in San Antonio hey Landa and so uh, oh Cindy's at the doctor's office watching well great um but anyway so I'm gonna have babies tomorrow I'm gonna go pick them up and she told me that they were gonna save the two little calico kittens for me so yay! so I uh, totally look forward to bottle feeding and um, just the whole nine yards y'all it is so rewarding to be um, a foster um, especially when it comes to little little kitten babies or little bottle babies so uh, but thank you guys for joining me. That was my exciting news before and you'll notice that I've changed things around because um, I don't have enough to do around here. So <laughs> so I'm changing the room around. But in, in all fairness, I have some things that I'm working on over here that I couldn't cover up for my retreat. You foster kittens too? Oh my goodness. So next week, you guys, they'll be my guests for my Facebook live actually they'll be my Facebook guests for probably Sunday afternoons too so <laughs> Landa I love calicos we had one once I have no idea if these are gonna be male or female they're just tiny the picture I looked at they looked really tiny and um, it is so rewarding but it can also be heartbreaking at the same time too. just you know I cry I cry when I give them back and then I cry when they die it's bound to happen I mean no matter how much um, advice and medical resources that you have um, sometimes when they're that little they're the most vulnerable and for me it's rewarding when you can get them past that stage where they are um, at least a couple of pounds and at least eight weeks old and they've gotten past that critical stage where they uh, well they will survive um, and then they're ready to be spayed and neutered and then I give them back so they can adopt them straight from the facility um, there's only been one time that I actually had somebody that um, I was fostering for that had plans to adopt so but most of the time my job is done and then um, my door is like a revolving door so as soon as one little batch comes out another one comes right back in and um, yeah we so we know that I'm not gonna get enough sleep here for the next probably two or three weeks but that's okay that's okay it's all good and it's all worth it um, when they graduate and they get to go back so but thank you guys for joining me um, we'll go ahead and get started thank you for listening to me ramble and I've got the wheel ready got some announcements and then we'll get started on page two of this layout so let me get this flipped around pull this up just a little bit and I'm make sure this is tight yeah it's tight all right so let me pull that off to the side and let's go ahead and do a drawing um, for those of you that are joining me for the first time um, I do a drawing every every week um, sometimes it's coordinating with what I'm doing but this time I just went ahead and reached back into my little prize my little prize um, drawer and we're gonna be giving away some square vellum doilies this little package of square vellum doilies okay and if you're wondering about this wheel and how you get on it when you like comment and share my videos that gets you entered in to the drawing for the wheel and when you share you get two entries into the wheel so let's go ahead and see based on last week 
who is going to win this package of square vellum doilies, which I can tell you, let's see. All right, it's Bonnie Kelly, and Bonnie Kelly, it was her sharer that um, got her to win. So congratulations, Bonnie. Let me put this off to the side. And then let me pull up what I'm supposed to be doing this evening. Put that off to the side so I can actually see it. I don't know about you guys, but oh my goodness. For the past several days, since this wind has been blowing in, something has literally um, been tickling my nose. My nose is just like, just the tip of it's like itching. So I'm glad I'm off camera right now so you can't see me scratching my nose, but oh my goodness. So yeah, it was like, I wish it would stop because <clears throat> it's really annoying. It really is. So hi, Terry. But yeah, between sneezing and then my the tip of my nose itching, it's like, whoa, what is going on here? So really, really quickly, um, when you join my email list, not only are you going to get a free PDF tutorial, but I am still updating my mailing selector, which just means at the end of this month, anybody that is on my customer mailing list um, is going to be getting the next annual catalog in the mail and they'll be shipped out from Stampin' Up! middle of April so in several weeks they'll be mailed out and if you're an active demonstrator I have a different special little gift for you sorry my nose is really itching you guys <laughs> oh gosh I have a different special gift for you and several of you that watch me have already gotten your little special gifts and I hope that you are actually using them and if you don't know what they are let me know and I'll tell you what they are but um but yes not only are you going to get a free PDF but you'll get a, a new annual catalog that goes live on May the 4th so you can um, I'll put the link in the details once we're done with the video or while you're watching, you can also scan that QR code, whichever is easiest for you. Okay. And then Sunday, I totally forgot about this. Totally, totally, totally. But everyone, anybody, doesn't matter if you're a beginner, an avid, if you're um, an active demonstrator. I am hosting a free virtual card class where we'll be making uh, one card. And I'm going to be hosting it on April the 2nd. Now, um, the link is on my events calendar on my Stampin' Up! website. So you can always go to my website and look under events. And it's on the April 2nd at 7 p.m. We'll be doing it uh, via Zoom and most likely streaming it to Facebook Live. Um, but if you'd like to join me, the more the merrier and I'm gonna be mailing out the free kits on the 26th which is a couple of days I think yeah a couple of days I have my days right yeah so um, if you would like to join inside that um, event communication there is a little survey link so that if I don't already have your address um, there's a spot for you to put your address and to tell me what kind of an envelope you would like to have with your free project. And then, um, so yeah, just complete that little survey. But I would love for you guys to join me. It is free. It actually is absolutely free. And it's just an opportunity for all of us to get together and make a card, something really simple, and celebrate spring. Because spring starts next week you guys did y'all know that next week and who on here has already put in their order for retiring things i know i haven't because i've been so busy doing other things today but right now um this afternoon started the last chance product sale and um 
Of course, you can go to my online store as well, or you can scan that QR code. But all of the retiring items, I did send out a communication earlier this afternoon. And all of the retiring items from the current annual catalog are out there and are while supplies last. So if you've been eyeing some things, especially those in-color products, you will want to make sure you go out there and get um, the products before they're gone. Um, a lot of them, I didn't get a chance to, to, fit, to go through the entire new catalog, um, I just went through the, the last chance products. And so there's lots of things that are retiring that we are just so stinking sad about. So, so stinking sad. And when I sent out my communications, I, I published them in Excel because they were easier to read in Excel. So, and then the last thing, well, no, that was it. That was it. That was it. Now, if you remember last week, this was last week's layout. And afterwards, um, that's what it looked like without that um, mat up here. And then I think I had like a white one. But I, the more I looked at, at, at it afterwards, I was like, no, it needs, some, it needs, a, it needs a mossy meadow mat. So um, I kind of left that loose and gave you the option whether you wanted to put one with the mat or without the mat. So, but that was last week's layout. And if you remember, we were working with the Dandy Garden um, designer series paper, the memories and more card pack. This, it has stickers in there. Um, there's also envelopes too. I don't know if you knew that, but there's also coordinating envelopes that go with this suite. I don't have them right here to show you. Yeah, they're behind me in my envelopes bin, but um, that's like one side of the paper. And then you've got all these other gorgeous designs on the other side of the paper as well. And I was trying to keep this particular layout um, to these these bumblebee mossy meadow colors and this basic white with a sprinkle of some calypso coral in there. And, oh goodness. I don't know why my nose is itching, you guys, but oh my gosh, it's annoying. It's annoying to me right now. So let's get started on the second layout. We're going to continue with our bumblebee, our 12 by 12 bumblebee. And then we have a mat with some basic white. And then we also have a mossy meadow. So let's get this. Oops. It's me going too fast there. Let's get this going. You know, what I'm realizing is the more that I talk, Oops, goodness. The more that I talk, it seems to irritate my nose and make it itch. I'm not sure what is floating. I'm not even sure why this is ripping. That's equally annoying. Okay, let's try this. Let me go slow. Use some slow strokes there. But yeah, my nose is itching. And I don't take, um, I'm real careful to take, I'm just gonna center this over this piece of basic white. I'm real careful to take like over the counter things for, um, for allergies and whatnot because I already take so many other medications that I'm afraid that I'm afraid that I'll end up like making things worse and end up in the hospital because of something um, of having a bad reaction with what I already take. That's the only setback sometimes. Is 
is you never know how you're going to react to something when you're on certain medications. And then we're going to take this mat and center this over. I want to try to get it right because this page is going to bump up to the left page. So if it's crooked a little bit, it'll be obvious. But what we could do, oops, didn't mean for that to go flying there, is we could always bump this up to it to make sure that, yeah, we're in line with that. We're in line with it, okay? So now we have our base down. And then if you remember um, last week, we're gonna work with three different pieces of designer series paper. Last week, we worked with these three. And this week, we're gonna work with these on the other side. So we're gonna kind of mix it up and give it some different, um, where'd my little punch go? Give it some different designer series paper on this other side. And we are going to use our banner triple punch, which by the way, it's on the retiring list. This particular one is on the retiring list. And um, this punch is normally, I'm gonna go ahead and, and punch some of these while I'm talking. Um, this one is normally 23 and it's 20% off. So that makes it $18. Maybe make sure I'm doing this one right. $18.40. This banner triple punch that's on sale right now. And don't forget, if you're a demonstrator, this is the best part about being a demonstrator too. Well, one of the best parts about being a demonstrator is when you are a demonstrator, you get your discount on top of sale prices. Oh my gosh. So you're not getting it for $18.40, you're getting it for that plus another 20% off or 25% off, depending on your discount level. I think I'm gonna put this green one in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. So let me get this one centered. But yes, demonstrators get their discount on top of sale and clearance discounts. How awesome is that? So while most people are, uh, let's do that, there we go. Most people are shopping. We are really shopping, which is awesome. Thought I saw a, a comment earlier about Stella. You made a list, Stella? I saw somebody made a list. I'm just gonna put these down here at the bottom. Get some these on here. But yeah, lots of things that are retiring and oh my gosh, some of them are pretty sad. There we go. So now we have these three down right here. Okay, and then I also have, um, I went ahead and die cut just one of these for this side. Um, on the left side, I had done three of them over here in the corner, but on this one, we're just gonna do one, and then I'm gonna put this other die cut just kind of in the middle, just to dress it up just a little bit. Oh, but while I have these right here, um, these are these are the widths that that banner triple punch will punch. It'll punch a two inch strip, It'll punch a one and a half inch strip as far as the width is concerned. You can make it whatever length you want to make it. And then it also uh, will punch out a one inch strip. So you've got three different sizes that you can work with there. And I am, yeah, we'll just use this one. When you're almost out of your dimensionals, always use around the edge. Those are always very usable pieces there. And we're just gonna pop this one up with a dimension. And then we don't want too much dimension on this. So let's put some adhesive straight on that and just put this off to the side. 
we're going to work from the bottom and then work our way up. Okay. And then I really wanted to use the stickers because in the Memories and More card pack, you've got some stickers. You get a couple of pages of these particular stickers. And so um, I wanted to use stickers on this one. So all you do is just peel those off. We're going to peel that straight off and stick it right down here in the corner. I remember um, my, my, um, my days way past when it came to using um, stickers in scrapbooks. So we'll just put a sticker there. Fill that little sp space up right there. And then I have these other two little stickers from the same little piece that we can just peel these off. And let me peel that off. There we go. Oops, did I just do something wrong? I did. Oh, you got to be careful peeling those off because I just separated. I just separated that sticker. Look at that. Okay, so we won't be using that one since I separated that one. So let me grab, let me grab this one. And then hopefully I cannot, there we go. Right, so when you peel these stickers off, you wanna be careful because I literally just separated that sticker pulling that off. I pulled the top piece of paper off of the adhesive. Okay, so we're just gonna put another little sticker right there. And then this one, we're going to put it going in the opposite direction. And those already have adhesive on them, so they'll be sticking straight to your cardstock. And then I have this sticker that I'm going to put right here in the middle, just to put something there. And then I used our... Um, the braided, the mossy meadow braided linen trim. And I went ahead and made a bow. And let's get a glue dot on the back of that and just put that right there so it looks like it's a little, a little bouquet of some kind of little flowers. Okay, and then where else? What am I, am I missing here? We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and do the top. I do have two more pieces that I want to put down here at the bottom, but I want to put those on last. Okay, so now I have three different mats because I wanted to bring some of that calypso coral over here to this side. And I've got these three mats of basic white. So let's get those matted. This is just uh, cardstock. This one right here, there's two of them that's cardstock, and one of them is designer series paper, which is this middle one. So we're gonna mat this piece of basic white onto this piece of designer series paper. These are still large enough to have some decent sized pictures. And if you were doing this, um, this particular layout and had a larger picture you could easily put like a four by six over here and even like a single picture off to the side so we're going to put these straight down so let's get some adhesive on the back of these actually let me start with my center one first let's put the center one down first so that we know where to put the other two. Let's see. Yeah. And I don't want them to all be the same height. So let's, let's, I want to put that down loose. Let's see if I can get this one kind of in the middle loose. I'm not going to press those down just yet. So let me get some adhesive on this last one. Got adhesive on my finger there. And I think it's about right. Yeah, let's do that. 
And then how much do I have on there? I've got three quarters of an inch. Can at least get it at least close to three quarters of an inch. There we go. And then this one will just kind of offset just a little bit. But then center those there. I like. I like. Kind of breaks up the the little line of pictures there and then gives us room to go ahead and punch out. We're going to use another one of these punched out dragonflies. So we've got our dragonfly punch and then we're going to flip this over and I've already cut some of the bottom of this so that I can get this easily into my punch. So get that in there and just line it up. Of course you also have the option of stamping your dragonflies and cutting coloring them with any of our blends because the dragonfly cling stamp set has a couple of different dragonflies and then also has um oh I, I had one in here oh oh that's not the right color though oh no, never mind I thought I had an extra color already punched out but I don't but you've got that coordinating punch. And then there's also another stamp set that goes with that suite, which I don't have that one, but that one's equally gorgeous, by the way. So let's peel that off. I'm gonna fluff him up a little bit. And we're gonna put him right here in this little corner. And then I want to do something with this little B, this little B sticker. Let's put this little B. I want to make sure he's going the right direction though. Okay, we'll put him right there. We'll just put a little sticker right in the center there. And then what else? We have our little, um, our little ladybugs. I had some loose ones here. I had two of them. Oh, there it is. There we go. So let's get some let's get some glue dots on the back of our little ladybugs. I'm gonna put two of them because I want to make sure that it sticks really, really well. And let's put a ladybug up here. And then I want to put a ladybug on that on that little flower down there. Let's see. That way it looks like there's a little ladybug crawling on that flower. Cute. Cute. And then I think I need something right there. Let's see. What can I put right there? We'll just put these little stickers. I have no idea what these are. They look like they could be the some floral centers. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know that kind of looks weird to me what do you guys think I don't know there's something there's something that's missing there I don't have it in my picture that's why I'm like stumped now because in my picture nothing was there so let me see if I can pull that off because something doesn't look quite right about that hmm okay well then I won't use that one What do you guys think? I don't know. I did everything in my picture that I wanted to do. There's no stamping on here. I didn't want any stamping, but there's certainly room right here so that if you wanted to put, you know, another picture mat, um, you could just slide one back there. And you could also use another one of the mats if you wanted to put a mat there. There's plenty of room for another picture there. So. All right, we'll just say that is it. That is it. Because I think if I keep playing with this more, I'm probably just going to mess it up. So let me move this out of the way and let me scoot this over. And let me bring the other one in. 
And I know you can't see both of them at the same time, so let me see if I can bring this up a little more. Oops. I think you guys can see both of those, or most of both of those. So there you have it. There is layout number six, pages one and two. Yeah, we'll just leave that one alone. If you were doing the layout and wanted to put some more things on there to dress it up a little bit, go right ahead. These are your layouts. These are just to give you some ideas of what you can do with some of the Stampin' Up! products that we have. And if you are interested in purchasing anything from the Dandy Garden Suite, uh, once I'm done with the video, I will post a link in the description that will tell you where you can go to purchase it. And don't forget, orders of $25 or more in the month of March will get the free kit in the mail. And if you haven't already checked out the retiring lists, I'll be posting that link in the description as well. So thank you guys for joining me this evening, and I will be back here Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, and you guys have a great rest of your evening, and we will see you later. All right. Good night, guys.